Hi, I'm Alex, and I just did culinary management. I'm Kyle, and I just finished the culinary management. I'm working in a pantry over at Caref. It's a, it's a lot of fun. You get to do daily soups, daily appetizer special, you get to write all that kind of stuff, so it's a lot of fun. I'm working uh, backline over at Clyde Common, and uh, really just learning a lot from all the different people over there. There's people over there from all different schools all over the country, so a lot of good opportunities to learn from different people there. I have a dad who's in the industry, and so I've been around it for a while, and when I decided I wanted to go to culinary school, I started asking some of the chefs that he works with, um, and several of them had gone to school under Chef Wilkie and all the other staff here, and they said, wherever it is these people are teaching, these are the people you need to learn from. Whatever, wherever in the country they're at, these are the people. These are the right people to learn from, and uh, I can say they weren't wrong. Yeah, so basically, I just wanted to move to Portland for uh, a number of years and checked out all of the schools in the area. Um, yeah, all three of them. And this was just hands down, like, really no choice. Just yeah, I'm gonna go here after I toured, after you know, just thinking about it for a long time. It was definitely the right choice. It's deceptively fast paced because you start out and it's it is the very basic fundamentals at the beginning and um, you know it starts slow but I mean out of nowhere the pace of everything just picks up and I mean before you know it you're all the way through a lot of different proteins and different you know advanced techniques before you even realize that you've transitioned over. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything that you guys learned here that now you can't imagine not not having learned it? Definitely in T1 when uh, Ikram does his uh, spice and herb tasting and just like because I, I don't know I don't, I've always tasted things before but I've never really like sat down and thought about things oh. like that. Was it, Did you have any kind of aha moments where you know maybe you were struggling with something and, and, and suddenly things clicked? Yeah, I did. Uh, in T2 a lot. Definitely um, T2. You know, you struggle with a lot of different things, and Brophy, Chef Brophy, yeah. really helped me figure out, you know, you need to learn to think on your feet, you need to learn to adapt and work with what you have, not just sit there and complain about what you do or don't have and what you do or don't need. And the whole ideal of, like, you know, you get the same product, but each, each individual thing is different, and working around that to, you know, balance flavor just come up with new ideas. Would you say that the, the school and the education met your expectations, didn't meet or exceeds, and in what way? Vastly exceed my yeah. expectations. Vastly exceeds. Um, you know, I was coming looking to hope would get a nice general well-rounded education, not much more. And You know, I've created a lot of good friendships with different people in my class and the chefs here. And, you know, I know that I'll continually be getting an education from these people whenever I, you know, they're available for me to contact as a resource for the rest of my life. And I, I mean, that's invaluable in itself is just having these people with this wealth of knowledge, you know, able to help me. Make sure it's something you want to do before you dive into it. Yeah. Because it is, it's a tough industry and you got to be ready to work. It's probably, you know, the best decision I ever made for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you guys would have done differently? Not really. No, I, I, I came to the school with the whole idea of I'm going to get the most out of this. You know, try to do my best and try to you know, use all the resources available. And I feel like it's put me in a really, really good spot right now. I came in knowing I might not be you know the most experienced or the best student in class, but I came in, you know, I'm going to give 100% every day no matter what regardless of how good I am, regardless of who's better or worse than me in class, I'm just going to give it 100% and, you know, I'm working, I'm doing my externship for a James Beard chef right now and, you know, it's a great honor and just, you know, the hard work is definitely appreciated in the industry. Now that you guys are out at some nice restaurants in town here, are you meeting many other people that are part of kind of the OCI network? Other yeah, everyone at Carafe is from OCI, except for the only French guy in the kitchen, everyone is from OCI, it's really fun. A few of them went here while I was here, so that's even cool. So the student or the employee who trained me over at Clyde Common actually started there about a year ago on his externship from OCI, and so he's just showing me basically everything that he had to do this time last year, and it, um, it's just progressive training. And then there's also a couple of line cooks and stuff from OCI. Hammer's giving me the eye over there. I gotta wrap it up. Be afraid of hammer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fear the hammer. Fear the hammer. <laughs> I like that.